Right, we're just at um, a new property um, that's been purchased and we're just clearing out a few outbuildings and we found some interesting stuff. Um, it's just the usual things like uh, just oil can with the uh, War Department logo on it, a couple of jerry cans, one dated 85, the other 1945. Just the usual things people keep over the years. One interesting item is this case, which had some sort of like rags and stuff in, it smells of petrol, but it's actually a case for carrying stick grenades. It's German, and it's dated, no, it's not dated, but there's a, a legal mark on the top, so it's definitely a wartime one. It's quite, it's just so much stuff in here. Um, this is the usual ammo case we found. Found one shell with a 17 dated World War One shell. It's just the usual bits and pieces in an old shed that's been probably been worked in for the last 60 years, 70 years. Lots of the usual stuff, bits and bobs. That's quite cool. All sorts of queer things <laughs> lots of bits and pieces the usual things ammo tins people keep spammers and bits and pieces in all those sort of stuff but it's just packed out with and there's two other buildings with bits and bobs in as well um, but the best thing of all was in here there's some comics, The Wizard, dated 1955, and there's quite a lot of them, there's more than that. There's a little Union Jack flag in there. But what came out of there was this, which has survived really well. I'll just... An original double decal Luftwaffe helmet, and it's just as you want to find them. It's all original. The pins are tight to the to the helmet. It's lost quite a bit of paint over the years, but and this is an early pattern decal on there as well. So it's an M35 with a first pattern decal, and inside it's got the original drawstring and the. Uh, the chin strap's probably marked being an early one, which I think it is. It's got an LBA mark on it somewhere, but it's quite frail. You can probably just might be able to just make that out. Yeah, you can just see it there. This is sort of like a, you don't find one of these very often, not in this condition anyway. And there's been nothing done to it, it's totally untouched. And the cool thing is it's probably got a good story to tell as well. Don't know whether it was taken off a, a POW or maybe taken off a body, that's the thing, you never know. It's got a few paint marks on it, so maybe it was on the shelf at one time and he decided to put it away it's at a sentimental value um, yeah, it's, if you just see the chin strap there it's marked LBA S which I think is something to do with the Luftwaffe department that issues all the equipment I'm not 100% sure but yeah, this is just there you want to find them, totally untouched and uh, this just doesn't happen anymore as the generations um, get older and people pass away and the houses are cleared it used to be quite a regular thing to find one of these in a shed or in a garage but nowadays it's, it's unheard of no, it's very rare anyway but that is absolutely stunning we'll carry on looking for some uh, going through all the stuff and hopefully we might find something else I don't think it's going to be as good as this but uh, you never know